everyone. Thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always staying tuned to our channel. Remember, we are here to keep you updated with the latest and most reliable happenings in our country. Um, a couple of minutes ago, we brought to you the breaking news um, where the APC screening committee have um, declared that um, Obaseki has been disqualified from the governorship um, election race. We brought you that news earlier on today. What we have at the moment is that Obaseki has broken the silence and he has this to say regarding his disqualification. We'll get more details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit on the like button. Give us a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to us. All right. Right, let's get more details um, about what Governor Obaseki is up to um, next. Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State has said he would not appeal his disqualification from participating in the 22nd June primary election for the nomination of a candidate for the governorship election in the state. In a statement by his special advisor on media and communication strategy, Mr. Kruso Osaige, Obaseki said appealing the outcome of the unjust outcome of the evaluation and screening process of the APC would be an effort in futility. We have watched the mockery of democratic process, which Comrade Adam Soshomole is administering and superintending over our great party, the All Progressive Congress, APC. It has been an unfortunate, disheartening and dreadful spectacle. We had initially ascertained that going by the open display and enthronement of illegality by one man in the party that compromises several organs and eminent personalities, there is no way that Governor Godwin Obaseki would get a fair assessment in the run-up to the nomination of candidates to fly the flag of the party in the forthcoming Edo gubernatorial election. It is unfortunate that this open show of shame, illegality and transversity of justice is the brand of democracy which comrade Adam Soshomole has reduced the APC into. The situation is quite saddening because this is a party supposedly reputed for change, equity and social justice. We have therefore decided that it will be effort in futility to appeal whatever the unjust outcome of the evaluation and screening process of the APC will be, especially when Comrade Oshomole has declared that he is the Supreme Court and ultimate determiner of the fate and future of our great party. We wish Oshomole luck in his maladministration of the party and trust that the Almighty will help our country to find a path to true liberty, freedom and justice. We call on all party members and the teeming supporters of Governor Godwin Obaseki to remain calm and await further directives. The Governorship Screening Committee of APC Friday rejected the candidacy of Obaseki. He was disqualified along engineer Chris Ogiwanye and Matthew Idiori Kenwe. The disqualification was announced by the chairman of the screening committee, Professor Jonathan Ayuba, at a press conference in Abuja. He gave as reason the governor's failure to produce his higher school certificate, HSC, the instrument which he supposedly entered the University of Ibadan to read classics in the 1973. He also said that the committee could not verify the governor's National Youth Service Corp NYSC certificate. Idiori Kenwe was disqualified for dragging the party to court. Engineer Ogi Wanye, who is an associate of Oshomole's camp, was also disqualified for discrepancies in the name of on his credentials. The outcome meant that the three aspirants are now left in the race, Pastor Osaige Izeyamu, Dr. Pius Odubu, and Mr. Osaze Obaze. 
So guys, this is just an update I'm following on from the disqualification news that just broke out um, from the APC screening committee that um, Governor Obaseki has been disqualified from the governorship race. And we can see on here that the reason for his disqualification was that um, um, the failure for the governor to produce his higher school certificate. So right now, it's not, not even the... Um, alleged certificate forgery we know initially it was said that um um he had um his certificate were not genuine but um a couple of days ago the university of ibadan came and cleared that that aspect that wasn't an issue right now the issue that is raised before governor obaseki is that um he could not provide his higher school certificate uh, um, result, uh, what he used in entering the University of Ibadan to study in 1973. So anyways, um, Governor Basek is taking this in good faith, people. He has sent out a letter that uh, it will be a futile, uh, a waste of effort to engage in any form of appeal, um, to appeal this unjust outcome, because he that's the word he called it, using his words directly, he called it an unjust outcome. And uh, um, he's really hoping and praying that um, true democracy will come to the country. You know, today is so ironical that um, today is um, actually Democracy Day. This is the day that uh, uh, Obaseki, that um, he believes in, the, he, he claims he believes in democracy. I'll use these words. He claims he believes in democracy. This is the day he's getting such a news. But right now, they're urging all their supporters and all those, all those that are loyal to Obaseki to remain calm. That um, the message, what he, they are confirming, that Obaseki is definitely not going to appeal this unjust decision. That is what um, he called it. That um, all the supporters should wait for further directives. We don't know what these directives are, guys, um, but uh, um, it, it's getting more interesting. So at the moment, there are just three persons left in the race. We are left with Pastor Osaige Izeyamu, the person of Dr. Pius Odubu, and Mr. Osaze Obaze. So these are the only people that will scale through um, the primaries that have been slated for 22nd of june um just uh, uh um 10 days from today these are the people that would uh will participate and then uh, we know chris ogiwanya was disqualified as well matthew idiorikenwe was disqualified as well as as well as um, um obaseki so guys and um, that's the news reaching us at the moment i know a lot of people some people are disappointed some people are excited so it's a, it's a mixed house now because we know because apc is factionized there are two um, um factions in apc there is the oshomales camp and there is the obasekis camp so i'm um, regardless of everything that is going on at the moment i just feel that everyone should remain calm um it's not the end of the road yet and uh, because um, we know that um, um even there are other parties there are other, apc is not the only party in Edo State, there are other parties. So we don't really know what Obaseki is up to. You know, earlier on today, the news broke out um, that um, Obaseki has started making um, some Plan B. We don't know what those Plan B are. It was alleged that he has started um, having some discussion with um, PDP, with some PDP governors, with Wike, and uh, some Wike. You know, the other day, uh, one of the PDP governors came to um, declare his support to him when he came to Edo State and all of that. So Obaseki is openly saying, he's declaring to everyone here that um, they should remain calm and wait for further directives. As per the other three aspirants that are left, we know initially Pastor Os um, uh, Pastor Saige, who is um, now um, the main um, um, the main person in that race because he's the one um, Oshomale has been pushing. We all know the other aspirant, they stepped down for him initially, the person of Pius Odubo. We don't know if they have any form of agreement right now or they are going to just go through the primaries. But um, we are here to bring you all the updates as everything unfolds. It's just 10 days down the line. But one thing we're very sure of is that um, Obaseki is not appealing this decision because if feels that um, even the outcome is unjust, that there is no point to uh, appeal um, sort of decision. You know, one other thing he complained about initially was that um, Oshomale is the judge at the same time um, in, in his own case. So he doesn't want to bother himself about that. But what, what is surprising here is that um, he's saying everyone should stay put and wait for further direct. 
So guys, that's the news reaching us at the moment. We're left with just three aspirants under the umbrella of APC. Let's bear in mind, like I said earlier, there are other as um, there are other parties. It's not just APC in a do state. So guys, leave your take, leave your comment down below in the comment section. Would really love to hear from you. And um, click on the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed. Also, do give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. We really do appreciate you. Want to say thank you once again. So we'll come back um, your way again with more updates. It's bye for now and God bless.